Hey everyone, welcome back to Better Biomed. Today, I'm going to go ahead and do a type of high potential test or high pot test on this little solenoid coil right here because I've talked it over with some people and they don't believe me that it's arcing over internally. And uh, I, I feel like this is a pretty good test. We're gonna do it a simple way, all right? So let's go ahead and get right to it. Coming up next, right here on Better Biomed. Okay, guys, what we are going to do is we are going to generate a static electrical charge, which is going to be thousands of volts on this generator right here. And what it is, is two platters of acrylic and there's little metallic panels, which are picked up by these little brushes and the charge, these electrons are transported down to the side and then is basically stacked on the opposite side of the disc on the counter rotating discs. So it's like a, a battery in series. Those charges are going to come here and be picked up at each side, positive and negative, and they will be stored in these plastic tubes which have metallic coatings on the inside and the outside, which basically makes them a capacitor. And the two capacitors are joined in series right here with a bus bar. And normally you would test this out in a science experiment by twisting the handle like so, and the charge will pop up here at these two electrodes at the top. Let's see, let me disconnect this guy without getting shocked, hopefully. There we go. There. Oh, jeez, scares me every time. Okay, let's get them nice and close, and let's go ahead and test it out. Hear it popping? Because now the charge has nowhere else to go. Now the air itself is an insulator, and the only way to break past an insulator is to increase the voltage. And that is exactly what we are going to do as a high potential test or high pot test. We are going to separate these by a further gap so there's a bigger insulator between the two. And then we're gonna run it down here to wires and we're gonna inject it on one point of the coil and we are going to test on the solenoid valve body, which is right here. Now, if this coil is good, you should not have any continuity and no arky spark here on this side. But if the coil is bad, if there's some sort of internal degradation, which is what I said in my repair video, then what you'll see is some arky spark right here. And you know, that means that the coil internally is damaged. Now this coil does have a ground terminal right here. And normally the ground terminal would dissipate any voltages that are break past the insulation. So that means that also when I go to put this guy back on the air compressor, I need to test the ground integrity as well for ohms to make sure that I have continuity and a really low ohms between this point on the uh, electrical connector and the ground of the chassis. Because if it's arcing down here instead of here, that means I probably have a bad ground to the solenoid. So anyway, we have um, coil minus and plus or line and neutral, whatever you want. Um, but this is a 115 volt mains AC coil. And you can see that it has an ED of 25%, which is the little porthole. So it's a 25% porthole, if I am if I remember correctly. So anyway, uh, here we go. Let's go ahead and hook it up. So one side onto here. The other side, I'm gonna hook right here in my coil. And you can see on my ground, I have shrink tube that is way down to the valve body to keep it from arcing over right here. And also down here, you can see the, the gap is too big for it to jump over to the other terminal. So I'm clear there. So I'm gonna take this other one, connect it up here, like so. And I'm gonna leave this guy pretty close. So I'm gonna go ahead and spin him a thing this, and let's see if we get some arky spark. Look at that. Wow. So we do have some defective insulation. Wow. And we can actually uh, change this around very carefully. 
and it will be, should be the exact same if I test it from the opposite side. And let's see if I get some Arky Spark here. So this is a very crude way of testing this. You can hear it. You can't see it, but you can hear it. There we go. Let's discharge it. All right. I'll spin it back around the other way. So you guys can see it from this angle. Now, high pot tests are normally done to motors. They're done to high voltage electronics because you never know if it's going to arc through the insulation. So you do something called a high pot test and they have regular high pot testers and some biomedical electrical safety analyzers do high pot testing. If I get it just right in the right light, you can see it there. So this coil is definitely damaged. Anyway, guys, uh, I know that this isn't the most scientific way of doing it, but it definitely induces a high enough voltage to break past insulation. And you got to figure between five and 20,000 volts, which a good high pot tester is going to be right in that realm anyway. And uh, normally a high pot tester just makes sure that uh, the charge doesn't dissipate, that there is no current. And if it does, it alarms and you get a failed test. Um, however, if you can visually see it and you can hear the Archie spark to a grounding point, it does the exact same thing. Not as scientific, not calibrated, but it does the job. And for you guys to prove the point of what a high pot tester is and what it would do, it just tests the insulation of like coils on like a motor or on an electrical cord. And it'll make sure that there is no breakthrough between the two conductors that are normally insulated from one another. And uh, this here should do it. Now the inputs of a coil should never go to ground. All right, because that is an AC mains coil. And if it's going to grounds, that means that if the equipment ground on the electrical cord were to be bad, or if they were to snap off the grounding plug and plug it in, and that coil activates, if you touch that instrument, you will get zapped 100% because you are now the ground path. It's clearly arcing to ground. And that is what we heard in my diagnostics video. You could hear it arcing. And uh, just to prove it, I wanted to do a high pot test. I don't have a high pot tester. Maybe, maybe uh, BC Group or one of you companies can hook me up. But uh, guys, just to show you, um, this is crude version of it. And uh, it is something that could help you as a biomed to understand what high potential testing is. And, uh, you know, hey, uh, now I'm not going to put this coil back in service for sure. And <laughs> I know that if I get a new coil, I should be able to replicate this test and I should not get any Arky spark. So guys, that's high pot testing in a nutshell. Thanks for watching.